So if you do shooting sports, like trap skeeter sporting, or if you're actually involved in other sports too, we're gonna dive into this big issue right now. So I have an issue with choking in big matches and basically how do I fix it? It's actually super simple. And the only reason I know this is because my dad is like Phil Jackson, right? And he has helped me overcome the anxiety level of getting nervous for tournaments. Step one, right? You're going to have nerves. You're going to have excitement. If you didn't, you're not doing something right. Probably not in the right sport. If you don't get a little nervous or a little excited, or a little antsy, are you really doing something you're passionate about? Step number two. And this one is where it really, really helped me, right? I want you to ride out. Like, what happens if you completely bomb this tournament? Does it change your life? Does it, um, like, I mean, does this failure cause you never to have sponsors? Does this, like, what does it do to affect you? Because if it's not affecting you, right, in some form of capacity, why are you worrying about it? And you're allowing your brain to acknowledge that when you're writing it down, you're like, okay, if I fail, these are all the things that could go bad, right? But then write, what happens if you win? What happens if you check this box and actually become something great? So the whole like scenes behind it is allowing your brain to acknowledge the feelings of, okay, what's the worst of the worst and what's the best of the best? And does the worst of the worst outweigh the best of the best? The key to overcoming it is literally allowing your brain to acknowledge and process what's going to happen. And at the end of the day, you have to let your brain know that you did the best of the best you could. Meaning, you left everything out on the field. There's nothing you can do to make it better or worse. The key thing is, do not be the person who wants to lose small. Be the person who wants to win big.